Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are world-class players who have given us some of the most incredible moments in football history. We've been watching them both play for over a decade and yet we still can't decide who the real GOAT is. This debate has the potential to create war, and you and your friends have undoubtedly had some very heated discussions about it as well. But what about Alejandro Garnacho, a football player with an Argentine passport just like Lionel Messi, a football god who is loved all over the world and especially in Argentina, with 45.8 million people in the country. Garnacho has played a few seasons with Cristiano Ronaldo and he hasn't hidden the fact that this has been big for him. In fact, he's even copied Ronaldo on several occasions and referring to him as the GOAT. We'll explore this topic in more details later in the video, so make sure you watch till the end. But first, let's get to know the young Garnacho who is thumbing his nose at the law of Hante. Alejandro Garnacho joined the Manchester United Academy from Atletico Madrid in October 2020 for a total of £400,000 transfer fee. It might not seem like a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's a significant amount when you consider that Garnacho was just 16 years old and hadn't played a single senior game at the time. Manchester United saw something special in Garnacho and were willing to invest in his potential. Since joining the club, Garnacho has continued to impress and is quickly making a name for himself in Manchester. In July 2021, he signed his first professional contract with the club. In the season that followed, Garnacho took the youth team by storm, scoring a spectacular solo goal in the FA Youth Cup win over Everton, and celebrating the goal like his hero Ronaldo. The goal was nominated for the club's Goal of the Month award for February 2022. In May 2022, Garnacho scored twice to help the Manchester United's youth team win the FA Youth Cup for the first time since 2011, and of course celebrated his goals with a suey. After continuing to impress with the reserves, he earned a place as a substitute for the Premier League matches against Norwich City, Liverpool and Arsenal. Although he didn't get any game time, his first game on the bench against Norwich was certainly a memorable experience. Cristiano Ronaldo scored an impressive hat-trick and, after the game, he made a special gesture to Garnacho by presenting him with the match ball as a sign of appreciation and respect. It was a small gesture, but one that meant the world to Garnacho, who will always be grateful to Ronaldo. Later on, Alejandro Garnacho made his debut in Manchester United's first game, coming on as a substitute during the team's 1-1 draw against Chelsea at Old Trafford, marking the beginning of what promises to be a long and successful career. As the 2022-23 Premier League season got underway, Garnacho swapped his shirt number from 75 to 49 and continued to make his mark on the team. He made substitute appearances against Brighton, Brentford and Real Sociedad at home. Garnacho later made his first start for United's first team on October 27th in a 3-0 victory over Sheriff Tiraspol. After this, he received praise from manager Eric Ten Hag for his improvement in the past few weeks. Ten Hag stated that although he had previously been frustrated, he was happy with Garnacho's improved attitude and resilience. On November 2022, Garnacho scored his first senior goal in a Europa League game against Real Sociedad, with Ronaldo making the assist. That Ronaldo finds Garnacho. He's in here, the young man. Can he finish? Oh, brilliant! Outstanding! The boy can play. Alejandro Garnacho with a brilliant goal. After the goal, he asked Ronaldo if he could do the nap celebration, which he did. He then followed up with his first goal in the Premier League in Fergie time against Fulham and secured the three important points for the Reds. Garnacho, Ericsson. Garnacho hasn't stopped. Garnacho has scored in stoppage time. And Manchester United have nicked it. What a boy. What a boy he is. Thrills and spills. And all the points. There's the name. Remember it. But now, let's take a look at the Ronaldo versus Messi debate and why this is such a big deal. Born in Madrid with an Argentine mother, Garnacho is eligible to play for both Spain and Argentina. 
He made three appearances for Spain's under-18 team before being called up to the Argentina senior team by coach Lionel Scaloni as part of a 44-man squad for two World Cup qualifiers in March 2022. Although he didn't get onto the field during those matches, he has made appearances for Argentina's under-20 team. Given that he has not yet made his debut for Argentina's senior team, Garnacho could still decide to switch all allegiances and play for Spain according to the rules, but it looks likely that he has chosen Argentina despite not getting selected for the World Cup in Qatar. Many suspect that Garnacho's exclusion from the World Cup may be related to his relationship with Cristiano Ronaldo, and Argentine people have raised their eyebrows, especially considering his national team colleague is Ronaldo's fiercest rival, Lionel Messi. But from the moment Garnacho arrived at the club, Ronaldo took him under his wings to mentor and guide him, providing valuable advice and support as he navigated his way through the professional ranks. It looks like Garnacho's decision to spend more time with Ronaldo has sparked controversy among his Argentine teammates, where most of his fellow players look up to the Argentine captain Messi as their inspiration. However, Garnacho has begun to view Ronaldo as a mentor and has publicly declared him the greatest of all time on social media, posting numerous pictures of the two of them together. This has caused tension among those who do not approve of his close relationship with the Portuguese superstar. As mentioned earlier, Garnacho received the match ball from Ronaldo after his hat-trick against Norwich and afterwards posted a picture of this event and received criticism from Kun Aguero for calling Ronaldo the GOAT. Despite facing criticism from former superstar Aguero, Garnacho remained unshaken and swiftly removed Aguero's comment while prominently featuring a supportive comment from teammate Ronaldo on social media. This demonstrated Garnacho's unwavering loyalty and bond with Ronaldo, further strengthening their already formidable connection on and off the field. Garnacho may feel caught in a difficult position when it comes to the ongoing debate about who is the greatest of all time. No matter what he says or does, it seems that he cannot please everyone. After posting a picture with Lionel Messi and referring to him as an idol in addition to a goat emoji, claiming them both as the greatest of all time, many diehard football fans believe that it is impossible to be more than one goat and have urged Garnacho to choose one or the other. The argument is that there can only be one ultimate GOAT, and Garnacho must make a decision and stick to it. It seems like Garnacho has a particularly strong affinity for Ronaldo, possibly more so than for Messi. This may be due to a variety of factors, such as playing style, personality and shared experiences. Even the United legend Paul Scholes has compared the two of them, and is full of praise for the player. He seems to be the new Cristiano Ronaldo. The comparisons between Garnacho and Ronaldo looks to be ongoing, with Stretford End even modifying the song Viva Ronaldo to Viva Garnacho in support of the young player. After Ronaldo's departure, one question on the minds of many fans is whether Garnacho will be given the opportunity to take on the coveted number 7 shirt. This iconic jersey has been worn by some of the most talented and revered players in the club's history, and being selected to carry on that legacy would be a tremendous honour for Garnacho. No player is ever likely to match what Ronaldo has achieved during his extraordinary career. But if Garnacho is even half as successful as Ronaldo was at the Theatre of Dreams, then Man United have one heck of a player in their ranks. Keep an eye out for this rising star as he continues to make an impact at Manchester United and showcase his incredible talent. With that said, we are ending this video. But who do you think is the GOAT? And will Garnacho be the new number 7 at Old Trafford? Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Cheers!